Welcome to AI Dungeon. Make it about Clopo, the goat. Who? Clopo, the goat, remember? Plopo? No, Plorpo, with an R. Plorpo. Sorry, I'm, I'm in, I am the English. Oh, Plorpo? Oh, Plorpo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's let's, let's make it a story about Plurpo the goat. Is he's not a goat? He is just the goat. There once was a man, a very epic man named Plurpo the goat. What is he what doing? doing? Yeah, what is Plurpo doing? Um, he was sitting, he was sitting alone one day, reading a magnificent Victoria's Secret magazine. So there once oh, so there once lived a man, a very late epic man named Plorpo the Goat. He was sitting alone one day reading a magnificent Victoria's Secret magazine. As he flipped through the pages, he came across a section devoted to the world's most beautiful women. He noticed a stunning woman <laughs> with long flowing hair and piercing blue eyes staring back at him. He's oh, she's wearing a sleek black dress that hugs her curves in all the right places. Oh, okay. What is she the woman out of the page? Okay, she jumps out of the page. <laughs> Alright, is um, that it? Is that the end of this? <laughs> yeah, sure, that's what it does. <coughs> she jumps out of the page. Oh, crap! I accidentally put a slash. It doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter. Hang on. This piece of shit. Okay, let's see. She jumps out of the page, slash, she doesn't jump out She of jumps page. out of the page. As Plurpo looks at the woman, <laughs> he noticed a giant... She, he notices a glint in her eye and a mischievous grin on her lips. She approaches him, her hips swaying seductively as she moves. Plurpo can't resist her charm, and he invites her to join him for a drink at his favorite bar. Could it be, is it the drunken clam by chance? Did <laughs> it? Yeah. <laughs> a family guy fame? Question is, <laughs> the drunken clam... Of Family Guy fame. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Everything always goes like the fucking Family Guy. As they sit down at the bar, Plorpo notices the woman's eyes are sparkling with mischief as she orders a glass of champagne. This is such a mischievous woman. <laughs> <laughs> he can't help but smile at her flirtatious demeanor. The bartender looks at them curiously, but quickly returns to the counter with the drinks. Okay, that was pretty boring. Yeah. The I woman. Um. The woman attacks the bartender. I was just gonna say she attacks Plurpo. <laughs> <laughs> attacks with Plurpo. A big, with, a, with a big machete. I should have. Here, hang on. Erase that. The woman attacks Plurpo with a freaking massive <laughs> freaking enormous kamasa how do you spell kamasa blade i don't know a massive uchi katana with a freaking massive uchi katana <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it knows what an uchi katana is but that's still funny. um okay the woman attacks plurpo with a freaking Shh. with a freaking massive uchi katana as the woman lunges at Plorpo with her massive Uji Katana, he quickly dodges her attack and uses his own sword to parry it. The two swords clash against each other, sparks flying as they exchange blows. The woman's movements are quick and fluid, and she's and she seems to be enjoying the thrill of the of the fight. <laughs> uh Plorpo quickly slits the woman's throat and she dies. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 No, 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 it's a joke, don't do that. Why? That'd be funny. <laughs> no, I think it would, be, it would be better if the fight went out on and interesting things happened. Like, I don't know, the chandelier falls. The um, wind falls. The cries. The chandelier. That's not how you spell that. Oh, wait, no, Plorpo swings from the chandelier. <laughs> Plorpo swings. <laughs> Plorpo. Sword in mouth. <laughs> swings from the chandelier. As Plopo swings from the chandelier, the woman watches in awe as he brings her sword down with precision and power. The blade whistles through the air, slicing through the fabric of the woman's dress and leaving a deep gash across her skin. She howls in pain as she falls to the ground, clutching her wound. What is happening? <laughs> who is this? 
Who is this one? Okay, well, no, we're gonna have the- we're gonna have Plurpo say, Who are you, and why did you try to kill me? Um... What if he- what if he makes a cool pun, like, um... Um... Look who just... Got... Cut out of the picture. <laughs> look who's splitting, who's splitting her sides. <laughs> uh, ha ha. Ha ha, lol lol lol, LFAO. A ruffle chapter. Lol 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 lol. Uh, LMFAO. I just split your side. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you get the joke? Says Plopo out loud. <laughs> Sorry, did you get the joke? <laughs> did you get the slide? Did you get the joke? Plopo asks <laughs> the woman. Uh, also. Also, you're gonna die. Uh, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> As Plopo stands over the woman, his sword's still in his mouth. <laughs> He chuckles at the woman's response. I get it. What he says that? Okay, we're trying. We're trying. <laughs> He's the one who said that. Um, Plopo looks at the woman and sees the fear in her eyes. He realizes that he has hurt her and apologizes. She she, she attacked him. <laughs> he realizes he realizes she didn't get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> He offers to pay for her medical bills and buy her a new dress. <laughs> the woman thanks him and accepts his offer. Her wounds now bandaged and her mood has shifted from a play from playful to grateful. That was playful? Her trying to murder <laughs> you is playful? <laughs> she was jumping around the go room going, hee 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 can't catch me! Then suddenly the bartender pulls a gun on both of them. The bartender suddenly pulls a gun on both of them and smirks. There is not enough room in this bar for the three of us. As the bartender pulls out a gun, Plorpo and the woman exchange a quick glance before quickly turning their attention back to him. Plorpo reaches for his own weapons and fires a shot, which he- from a gun he now has, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's, he's just a- like, yeah. He just the has a bunch of weapons on him. On Plorpo turns to the woman and says... I just gave him a splitting headache. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's Plopo's character. He's a wisecracking jokester. <laughs> Freaking epic splitting headache. I was gonna say side splitting <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> we just created like a really cool, just a really like obnoxiously over the top <laughs> character who thinks he's really cool. Um, I just gave him a, a freaking <laughs> epic headache, dude. <laughs> What a, uh, dumbass. What a numbskull. <laughs> <laughs> what a dent head. Huh? What a dent head. What a, what a stinky Flipping. idiot. <laughs> what a stinky <laughs> idiot. The woman nods in agreement, still <laughs> clutching her wound. I thought she was all bandaged up. Um, <laughs> she is, but it still hurts. That says newfound. I thought that said new grounds. Um, <laughs> Plurpo goes on the computer in the bar and looks up new grounds. And he starts watching epic new grounds animations. Um, <laughs> she looks at uh, she looks at Plurpo <laughs> with newfound respect and gratitude. You're a true hero, she says. Plopo smiles at her and takes her hand, leading her out of the bar into the night. I say that's a good ending for the story. It does, seem, it does seem like the game. I mean, the game. The the, the the story is trying to end itself. I mean, we can do multiple stories. We can. This one was fun. Yeah, that, I'd say that's a good ending for this story. Yeah, the end. It's Plopo the goat. The woman doesn't nod in agreement. She leaves. I really wanted to make Plopo say more funny wisecrack jokes. We can bring Plopo back later. <laughs> Plopo the goat the sequel. The goat to <laughs> We can do one about Tobuc Tobuccus. Tobuscus. What's his actual name? Tobias something. Hang on, uh, we'll look it no, up. No, we're gonna call him Tobuscus. <laughs> okay. And um, is Gay Buscus gonna be in there? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, and little Timmy. And what's the dog's name? I don't remember. Tobuscus. 
going and his on one of his to epic Tobuscus Pants of Patented Tobuscus Adventures. Adventures. Wait, what? Patented Tobuscus Adventures. His, one of his patented Tobuscus <laughs> Adventures. One of his patented Tobuscus Adventures. With his best friend, hey. friends, Gabuscus, Tim. His name is Tim Tim. Tim Tim. Uh, and look up his dog real quick. Um, I want this Tobuscus. to be more accurate. Griffin the f stupid dog. <laughs> stupid dog, you make me Tobuscus. Stupid dog, you made me Tobuscus. <laughs> We're just gonna do this and see what adventure it comes up with, okay? Sure. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Should we make it like, um, the. on a quest to find the legendary Minotaur? Minotaur Tar? Mm, nah, I wanna see what it comes up with on its own. <sighs> if it's not good, I'm deleting it. Tobuscus shouts. You cannot have my sword. Do you <laughs> like my sword? Sword, sword. <laughs> <laughs> sword. He sings the whole chorus. My my sword, <laughs> sword, sword. My diamond yeah. sword, sword, sword. Diamond sword, sword, sword. <laughs> I'm gonna spell all these words. <laughs> As he flurries his attacks at the bandits. As he flurries his attacks. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Gabe Buskis, Tim Tim, and Griffin watch in awe as Tobuscus expertly wields his diamond sword. His movements fluid and precise as he dodges and parries the bandit's attacks with ease. With ease. Uh, Tim Tim grabs his... His safety torch. Oh, I was gonna do the tartar <laughs> sauce. <laughs> uh, which one should we do? Well, Tata sauce is only useful against mini Tata, so... Oh, yeah, that's true. We can do that yeah. later. His... Safety torch... And... Charges into battle... With Tobuscus. Gabuscus... Just sits... Behind... <laughs> sits behind. Because he's Gabuscus. <laughs> I know that Griffin just, like... Like, well, I, the only no time I remember Griffin actually being in an, in an adventure episode was the plus of zombies one way. Weapons. He like jumps, he jumps into one of the zombies' mouth mouths and then like tears through his stomach and then pisses on him. Along with Griffin, who isn't helping, he does not much care for this because he's a dog. He's a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you like my sword, sword? I just love the idea of him flying towards the bandits with just screaming that. Okay. As Tim Tim charges towards Tobuscus, he, what? He swings his. Sa he sw no, it, it makes sense. He swings his safety torch in a wide arc, illuminating the area around the bandit leader. The leader of the bandits turns to face the source of light. But it's too late. Tobuscus is already upon them. His diamond sword, his diamond sword, flashing as he slices through the through their weapons and armor with ease. <laughs> this is uh -huh, they must be using gold and diamond. They must be using gold armor. Haha. Huh? You can't mine diamond with your hands, or it disappears. He just uh, says that. What happens to it? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We just wanted to mine some diamonds. It's about time that I mine a diamond. This is just gonna be a bunch of stupid Tobuscus references. Do you think your audience actually knows anything about <laughs> about Tobuscus? It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> we just wanted to mine some diamonds, <laughs> but we don't have an iron pickaxe. And Tim Tim says, "Should we let the AI do it?" I uh, I guess yeah. I was gonna say, Tim Tim says you can't break down with your hands. Darn, I'm work. sorry. I didn't oh. warn you earlier. I didn't know we were going to be attacked. <laughs> As the bandits surrender to Tobuscus stands tall, his diamond sword still at the ready. The leader of the bandits bows before Tobuscus. <laughs> he bows? Um, and then the, the, the bandit leader is like, <coughs> If you let us go, we'll tell you about the legendary treasure, which is... Fucking nugget and a biscuit. Okay, if you let it, if you let us go, we will share the legend of the nugget and a biscuit. The bandit leader pleads, 
uh, the bandit leader pleads. Uh, Tabuscus lowers his uh, diamond sword and um, says, shoot. <laughs> the bandit leader quickly shoots his gun. No! I knew it was going to do that, too. I don't know why I said shoot. Here, let's try it again. See if it figures it out. Um, to retrieve a biscuit. <laughs> the bandits quickly scatter. Their, re their leader rushing to the back to retrieve a biscuit. Tabiscus <coughs> turns to his friends and says, Well, that wasn't e that was easy. Let's go collect our reward. The group begins to make their way back to the mine. Their weapons at the ready in case any more bandits try to attack them. Should we stick with this? I don't really like it. I want... I don't know, because I thought that the whole point was that the legendary nugget in a biscuit. Yeah, here, we'll just write like a legend. The legendary nugget in a biscuit resides in the sacred land of Toronto, Canada. It will Fucking. be found within the sacred... Or, no. Mashed potato. Within the tombs of the CN Tower. Cartoon Network. <laughs> I guess. I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> but beware. For the tombs are being guarded by the horrifying mini Minotaur. There are a lot more Tobuscus adventures than I remember. I know, there's a lot of them. Um, yeah, that's good. You like this? I like this. Okay. Sure. As he speaks, the mini minute talk. Okay. Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> Retry! <laughs> As the bandit leader finishes speaking, the other bandits begin to mutter amongst themselves, their eyes widening with fear. Tobuscus nods solemnly. I'll take that challenge. Lead the way, bandits. I have to do his voice. <laughs> Lead the way, bandits. The bandit bandits. leader nods. <laughs> I'll take that challenge. Lead the way, bandits. The bandit leader nods and leads the group out of the mine. I like where this is going, dude. This is fun. Okay, um, the bandits lead to Buskis <laughs> and gang to an airport uh, where they can catch a flight to Toronto. While there. Um, Tobuscus sees a, uh, a super hot, hot lady. <laughs> <laughs> um, and in a coffee shop, that's how the actual episode goes. Oh, really? Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was thinking of, too. I just couldn't remember where, the, yeah, where she keeps was. Going, keeps going He's going hot. Hot, 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 the whole point is that Tobuscus goes incognito by turning his shirt inside out, and so then nobody knows who he is, and so he's pretending like he's really cool for being incognito. Okay. Turns his shirt inside out <laughs> in <laughs> an attempt <laughs> to look incognito. <laughs> well, he actually calls himself in Incognito Buscus. <laughs> and, uh, and dubs himself... Incognito uh, Buscus. And dubs himself... In, hang on, I'm gonna do it in incognito buskis. <laughs> well, there's a hyphen in between, but sure, that does <coughs> incognito buskis. There, okay. Well, there, to buskis sees a super blah blah blah. As he approaches the hot, hot lady, she looks at him with a mix of confusion and amusement. Are you lost? She asks with a smile. You can f no, he can. Tobuscus can feel his face turning red as he realizes his mistake. Er, uh, no, I'm not lost. I'm just looking for someone. <laughs> he says. No, he's not. He's looking for the fucking nugget and a biscuit. Trying to keep his composure. Um, here, let's get back on track. Here, the gang then 
arrive in Toronto. Okay. Way, I don't know. As the gang approach the CN Tower, they can see the towering structure looming in the distance. The air is thick with the scent of decay and the sound of wind whistling through the wire, through the wires and pipes. The group of bandits look at each other with fear in their eyes as they re as they realize the danger that lies ahead. Toronto has been invaded by zombies. Oh. No, the gang prepares Prepare. to walk across the street, across the road, to <laughs> <laughs> toward the CN Tower. Everybody but Tintin looks. Both Everybody ways. but Tintin looks both <laughs> ways. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that everybody else doesn't get hit by a car, even though the cars all come at the same time. But <laughs> just because he didn't look both ways. To get ran over? Violently, Violently ran over. <laughs> by, um, by, by three different cars simultaneously. Well, I'm sorry, simultaneously. Different cars. No, not simultaneously, but back to back. In a comical <laughs> scene. <laughs> As Tim Tim lies on the ground, injured and bruised, the rest of the gang looks around in con in confusion. Tobuscus rushes over to him, his diamond sword at the ready. He exa why has he always got a sword at the ready? Um, he examines <laughs> Tim Tim's injuries and quickly you can't huh? afford for it because you cannot afford for yeah. his diamond sword. He examines it. Tim Tim's injuries and quickly assesses the situation. We need to get him to a hospital. Um. No, here, let's edit this. Make him say, it'll be fine, just walk it off. Um, his voice firm and resolute. He says that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He'll be fine, walk it off. Okay. Um, enters the mini, the mini star. CN Tower. Uh, and spots the mini out of a Minotaur. What we hiding behind an ant. Hiding behind an ant? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Hiding behind an ant, like the bug? Yes. Is that how small he is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hiding behind the ladybug. That's not much better. Hiding behind a tarantula. No, we'll stick with ladybug. <laughs> The gang enters the CN Tower and spots eyes the mini minute. Why didn't I read Go! You gotta go faster. The gang's eyes no, I there's a delay, you dumb dumb. -uh, Do you know that? Not really. <laughs> the gang's eyes widen in terror as they realize the true danger that lies ahead. Tobuscus takes charge. His diamond sword at the ready, again. He charges towards the mini minotaur. <laughs> His movements swift and spice to the bear's. The bear? The, oh, I thought it said bear. The beast's arm with ease. Hmm, where have I heard this before? The armor was damaged. Sure. The armor was made of paper. But the mini minotaur was impervious to diamond to swords. Any sort of diamond sword flexes damaged. his muscles triumphantly. The <laughs> because <laughs> of this fact. The mini <laughs> minotaur flexes his muscles and screams. Uh, Fuck you! <laughs> no, I was just gonna do his line. I'm a tiny minotaur. <laughs> Wait to add, he flexes his muscles triumphantly. Okay. As the mini minotaur charges towards Tabus Tabuscus, he swings his massive arms in an attempt to knock him off balance. Tabuscus expertly dodges the creature's attacks. His diamond swords, his diamond sword flashing in the light as he strikes back with a series of swift strikes. The strikes are super freaking swift. Um, but they do no damage. He screams. The, the Minotaur screams. I'll kill you, any Minotaur. <laughs> I'll kill you, any Minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that the Minotaur's um, everything he says just ends with Otor. 
to Barskir stands his ground, his diamond sword at the ready. He looks at the mini Minotaur with a fierce intensity. His eyes locked into the beast's own. The mini Minotaur charges forward once again, his massive arms reaching towards Tobuscus. Okay, I mean, yeah, but like, nothing yeah. happened. Okay, well, we're gonna start killing him now. <laughs> with the okay. Tim it's Tim. Tim Tim. time to die. Tim Tim. Tim Tim, um, realizing this is futile, grabs his trusty jar of tartar sauce. <laughs> and he says, I keep this around for just such an occasion. Tim Tim opens it and tosses it towards the mini minotaur. His mouth. The mini minotaur, um, being deathly allergic to tartar sauce. And he screams, My weakness! My only weakness! <laughs> As the mini minotaur's uh, tar begins to swell up, the gang members can see the beast's skin begin to bubble and blister. The mini mini Tartar's eyes widen in pain and confusion as the Tartar saw seeps into its skin. It lets out a deafening roar, causing the gang to jump in fear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here he'll scream, Tartar charge! My only weakness! My only weakness! I love that video. I know it like half uh, by heart. <laughs> I think even though Tobuscus is not a good person, I do think he's funny. My only weakness! It wails yeah. out in pain, um... As it goes kablooey. As it go- as it goes kerplooey. As the mini minotaur goes kerplooey. <laughs> 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 uh, the gang members gasp in amazement at the sight. The beast begins to convulse and writhe on the ground. It doesn't know what ker kerplooey means. <laughs> <laughs> um... Its skin now turning a, si a sickly shade of green. The mini minotaur lets out one last roar before collapsing to the ground. Defeated. The, uh, what do you call it? The, the fucking bug nugget and a biscuit is powering the CN towers. And if they take it, then no more shows will ever be made. I don't think that's what the network. CN tower is. <laughs> I know, but it's funny to imagine that it is. <sighs> the nugget of the biscuit is revealed to be powering... The CN. I need to look up what the CN tower is. Tower. The C CN tower. Um, it's a communications and observation tower in Toronto. So yeah, it powers the it, it powers the, the the communications and observations in the tower. <laughs> there will be no more. <laughs> Communications <laughs> and observations. In observations. <laughs> <laughs> the gang debate about it, but realize they don't give a shit about. They don't the care. So they, <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. So they take it anyway and prepare to make their escape. As the gang members make their way out of the CN Tower, they can see the city skyline looming in the distance. Buildings are tall and imposing, but the gang feels confident in their abilities to make it out alive. They what? emerge from the tower and step into the bustling streets of Toronto. Okay, well they escaped. There was no escape. It was the only guard was the mini minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> so they killed him and now they're good to go. Um So let's say what if the the Toronto the, the, the citizens of Toronto realize that they can no longer communicate <laughs> or observe. I so. <laughs> I mean that's funny, but I think it's funnier if they just like Straight up, just leave, and they just go back home. <laughs> and they, they, and then they split the nugget and a biscuit. Yeah, and ways. dip it in the mashed potatoes, happily and then they live happily ever after. The gang make their way back home to reap their reward. Then split the nugget in a biscuit. Between it was four of them, right? Yeah, four of them, but only two of them did anything. And dip it all in mashed potatoes. And dip it in the mashed potatoes, followed by barbecue sauce. 
As the gang enjoys their meal, they can feel the warmth of the nugget of the biscuit coursing through their veins. The, the taste of the sauce and the aroma of the cooked food fills their nostrils, making their stomachs growl with hunger. The gang, mem the gang members laugh and joke around, enjoying the moment. The end. The end. Yay! Yay! I, I like this story. <laughs> I mean, gay buskus and didn't really do anything, but yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's a dog and it's Gabe, so I like this story. This one was good. Yeah, it was good. All right, let's title this Tabuscus Adventures. <laughs> make it capital and long, like just make it adventures. Yeah, I'm gonna adventures in all, all caps. <sighs> Tobuscus adventures. <laughs> <laughs>